Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a system of equations. We have x plus 1 times y plus 1 equals 12, and x plus y times xy plus 1 is equal to 35. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first method. For my first method, the first method is called no pain, no gain. I'm going to isolate y from the first equation. So let's go ahead and write this as y plus 1 equals 12 divided by x plus 1. Obviously, x cannot be negative 1 because that wouldn't be a solution. And let's subtract 1 from both sides. That gives us y equals 12 over x plus 1 minus 1. And after making a common denominator, we get 12 minus x minus 1, which is 11 minus x divided by x plus 1 for the y value. Now, we got y in terms of x from the first equation. Let's go ahead and substitute that into the second equation. And that's this is what we get. x plus y, which is 11 minus x, divided by x plus 1. That is multiplied by xy plus 1. And when you multiply y by x, you get 11x minus x squared divided by x plus 1. You only multiply the numerator. And of course, this plus 1. And the product is equal to 35. So I'm going to go ahead and make a common denominator and simplify this expression. If you multiply x times x plus 1, you get x squared plus x. x cancels out. You end up with x squared plus 11 over x plus 1. And that is multiplied by 11x plus x, which is 12x, minus x squared plus 1. And that is divided by x plus 1 as well. And this product is equal to 35. Now, after multiplying everything together and making uh, or cross multiplying, multiplying the top and cross multiplying, we get the following 12x cubed minus x to the fourth power plus x squared plus 132x minus 11x squared plus 11 equals 35 times x squared plus 2x plus 1, which is x plus 1 quantity squared. And if you distribute everything and, you know, rearrange the terms, combine like terms, so on and so forth, you'll get the following quartic equation. x to the fourth power minus 12x to the third plus 45x squared minus 62x plus 24 is equal to zero. Now, I wanted to put the x to the fourth on the right-hand side so that it becomes positive. And now, this equation is factorable. Uh, but it's hard to find the factors unless, uh, until you know what the roots are. So we're going to be using the rational root theorem. Possible roots are divisors of 24. And after, you know, uh, trial and error, you're going to get that one of the roots is a 2 and the other one is a 3. So here's what we get from here. By using the rational root theorem, we get x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3. And after finding both of these factors, obviously, you can use polynomial division or some other technique to find out the quadratic. And that is going to be x squared minus 7x plus 4. And the whole thing is equal to 0. Notice that uh, we weren't able to factor x squared minus 7x plus 4 nicely because it doesn't have rational roots. Therefore, the roots of the quadratic is going to be irrational. So let's go ahead and write the roots from here. Obviously, x equals 2 is a solution. x equals 3 is a solution. And from the quadratic, we get two solutions. x equals 7 plus minus the square root of 33 all over 2. So those are going to be the solutions. Since it's quartic, it has four solutions. And in this case, they all happen to be real solutions. Make sense? Hopefully it does. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method now. So my second method involves a different approach. Let's go ahead and distribute the first equation. Remember, our first equation was x plus 1 times y plus 1 equals 12. And the second equation was x plus y multiplied by xy plus 1 equals 35. So I basically numbered these equations, 1 and 2. I'm going to go ahead and distribute number 1. And this gives me xy plus x plus y plus 1 is equal to 12. If you subtract 1 from both sides, you get xy plus x plus 
y is equal to 11. I'm going to go ahead and write down the second equation one more time and then treat this as a system again but this time it is a different type of system it is a system in two variables and those variables are x y and x plus y because if I do that then the solution will be simpler so let's go ahead and do the following I'm gonna call x y p which is product and x plus y s for sum and then my equation turns into the following p plus s equals 11 and then s times p plus 1 is equal to 35 so this is my new system now and obviously it's much much simpler so to solve this system you know I can do a couple different things like you know I can distribute subtract so on and so forth but here's what I'm going to do I'm going to use substitution here because from the first equation it's easy to isolate p right I can go ahead and write p as 11 minus s and then I can just go ahead and substitute that here. I can replace in the second equation, not the first and second that I named, but in the second equation of this system, I can basically replace p with 11 minus s and that means I multiply s times p plus 1 which is 12 minus s and this gives us a quadratic equation in a single variable which is s in this case so let's go ahead and distribute and solve this equation 12 s minus s squared is equal to 35 let's put everything on the positive side s squared minus 12 s plus 35 equals 0 and now we're looking for two numbers whose product is 35 and their sum also need to be negative 12 and those numbers are negative 5 and negative 7 now we can write this as s minus 5 times s minus 7 equals 0, which means s is either 5 or 7. Great, so we were able to find s, which means we can also find p from here because we know that s plus p is equal to 11, or we can use this identity, p equals 11 minus s, which means if s is equal to 5, p is equal to 6. If s is equal to 7, p is equal to 4 because their sum always needs to be 11. Now let's go ahead and see how we can use this information knowing the s and the p how that's going to help us. s is sum remember so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the first one first. So I got x plus y equals 5 and x y equals 6. Now obviously here you can isolate y and write it as 5 minus x and substitute that here or you can just think about it this way. I'm looking for two numbers whose sum is 5 and whose product is 6 and obviously those numbers are 2 and 3. But of course they could switch around which means I can write my ordered pairs as 2 comma 3 or 3 comma 2. Oh that shouldn't be an equal sign that should just be a comma. All right so we got two solutions from here and if I have the sum of 7 with the product of 4 things aren't that easy here let's go ahead and turn this into a quadratic equation so I can basically replace y with 7 minus x here and this becomes 7x minus x squared equals 4 or x squared minus 7x plus 4 equals 0 and from here I get the following solutions x equals 7 plus minus square root of 33 over 2 now here's what this means if x is equal to 7 plus root 33 over 2 then y is just going to be its conjugate because their sum and product need to be integers so we do need that relationship and they're just going to switch around and we're going to get all the solutions from here. So these are going to be the solutions and these are going to be the solutions and this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then. Be safe, take care, and bye-bye.